One aircraft stands out like a phantom in the shadowy world of military innovation. Its very existence shrouded in mystery, and its capabilities whispered among insiders. Prepare to be enthralled as we reveal the hidden story of an enigmatic marvel, a plane that transcends imagination. In the mesmerizing era of the 1990s, Lockheed Martin dared to dream of a fighter aircraft that would redefine the boundaries of stealth and maneuverability. The audacious vision, thus, gave birth to an extraordinary concept known as the X-44 Manta, an awe-inspiring marvel with a distinctive feature, no tail. This unconventional, multi-axis aircraft was designed to revolutionize thrust vector control, pushing the limits of aviation like never before. But alas, the world was not quite ready for such avant-garde brilliance. Fast forward nearly three decades, and remnants of the remarkable Manta continue to echo through the corridors of the Air Force's design offices. As they strive to create the next generation of air dominance fighters, experts and enthusiasts alike ponder whether the ghost of the X-44 Manta has found its way into the fabric of these cutting-edge marvels. In the early 21st century, Lockheed Martin once again embarked on an ambitious endeavor to construct an aircraft that could harness the power of thrust vector control, enabling extraordinary acrobatic prowess in high-stakes dogfights. Breaking away from conventional design, they discarded the conventional tail section and opted for a configuration that employed vertical and horizontal control surfaces to direct the engine's airflow. While the F-22 Raptor, a pinnacle of non-stealth fourth-generation fighters, adopted a slightly different tail arrangement than its counterparts, Lockheed Martin sought to replicate the jet's unrivaled maneuverability without the need for tail surfaces. The outcome was a delta-shaped stealth fighter baptized as the X-44 Manta, its name derived from the acronym Multi-Axis No-Tail Aircraft, coined by the U.S. Air Force, which even caught the attention of NASA for feasibility testing. An official NASA document highlighted the potential of thrust vectoring, emphasizing its ability to generate forces akin to traditional aerodynamic surfaces, thus simplifying the airframe structure and enhancing fuel capacity and stealth characteristics by eliminating movable control surfaces. Should the tailless concept prove successful, it would grant the aircraft the ability to execute aggressive direction changes, outmaneuvering enemy fighters by skillfully manipulating the angle of thrust. By lacking a traditional tail section, the aircraft would boast reduced observability and an exceptionally diminished radar signature, potentially surpassing the already highly capable Raptor. Its sleek delta wing, spanning an impressive 62 feet, completed the awe-inspiring design. The propulsion system of the X-44 Manta would rely on side-by-side -side Pratt and Whitney turbofan engines, delivering a staggering 35,000 pounds of thrust. These powerhouses would propel the aircraft to speeds of up to 1,500 miles per hour and altitudes of 49,000 feet. Beyond the advantages of lower drag and enhanced stealth capabilities, the Manta promised increased fuel capacity, extended range, and internal weapons bays housing a formidable arsenal of missiles, bombs, and cannons. Perhaps the most striking feature of this design was the thrust vector controls, which allowed pilots to direct the aircraft's nose and weapons independently of its flight path. In close quarters engagements, where fighters vied to outmaneuver each other and gain a lock on their opponents, the ability to point the nozzle of a jet engine conferred a significant advantage. The F-22 Raptor boasted this capability on a single plane or in a 360-degree range, granting pilots unparalleled flexibility. And it was precisely this very virtue that made the Raptor the ideal platform for experimenting with thrust vectoring. But even beyond its role as an advanced fighter, the X-44 Manta held a deeper significance. While the aircraft itself never materialized beyond design concept stage, its short existence left a lasting impact on subsequent stealth designs, especially the trajectory of the United States' next generation air dominance, its sixth generation fighter. It is also important to note that the next generation air dominance would transcend the realm of a merely advanced fighter. It would encompass an entire family of systems characterized by autonomous capabilities, enhanced stealth features, a new range of weapons, advanced thermal management, improved aircraft signatures, and propulsion systems with supercruise ability. Each program was being developed with a focus on maximum connectivity, advanced sensors, and an open architecture, all while leveraging the power of computer-aided design. In a surprising announcement, the U.S. Air Force revealed that it had not only designed, but also built and tested a prototype aircraft 
for the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, boasting advancements that surpassed its predecessors. The new jet held the promise of outmatching modern foreign fighters for decades to come. Intriguingly, accompanying this announcement was an image showcasing a wedge-shaped aircraft devoid of a tail. While skeptics speculated on the artistic license taken by the creators, subsequent images and renderings from renowned aviation firms consistently portrayed similar airframe configurations. Consequently, the notion that the X-44 Manta played a role in shaping the design of the Air Force's newest fighter gained traction. However, while the Manta was designed to be a more capable stealth fighter than the F-22 Raptor, its origins in 1999 make it unlikely that it would fare well in the new era of advanced fighters. Notably, aircraft such as the Chengdu J-20 and the Sukhoi Su-57, developed during the 1990s and early 2000s, pose formidable challenges that the new endgame fighters must surpass. Nonetheless, resurrecting an old concept and transitioning it into production would not be a panacea for the Air Force's challenges, particularly considering that the F-22 Raptor's production has ceased. Reviving the production line for the F-22 would be an exorbitant endeavor, equivalent to starting from scratch. However, the DNA of the Manta is likely to find its way into the Air Force's newest fighter, as evidenced by the consistent presence of its characteristics in renderings and visual concepts. Experts have drawn attention to the striking resemblance between the Manta's design and the tangible YF-23 fighter developed by Northrop. Furthermore, the design images released by the Air Force bear a stronger resemblance to the endgame concept. Therefore, analysis posit that if an older stealth fighter like Northrop's YF-23 is still relevant, the more advanced iterations of Lockheed Martin's promising concept are destined to play a significant role in the race for supremacy. The persistent re-emergence of the idea of a non-conventional tail section and a wedge-shaped design after many decades suggests that the U.S. Air Force drew inspiration directly from the X-44 Manta or Northrop's YF-23 Black Widow II for its next-generation fighter. While the road ahead is filled with challenges and fierce competition, the spirit of innovation and unconventional thinking embodied by the Manta will continue to guide the evolution of advanced fighter aircraft ensuring that the United States maintains its air dominance for years to come. As we conclude our journey, one can't help but wonder, how might the course of history have been altered if this secret stealth fighter had been unleashed? This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time!